What up everybody? Bitcoin's currently sitting at $69,133. Not a bad spot. This has been a really interesting week for cryptocurrency. If you guys haven't been keeping up, there's some bills that uh, they're trying to get passed in Congress. That would be really good for cryptocurrencies. Um, also the Ethereum ETF, the approval odds went from 25% to a potential 75%. So that's also looking really good for ETH because you know, ETH pumps could help Bitcoin pump, could help altcoins and meme coins pump. Speaking of meme coins pumping, we do have a new Carlson hash coin for you guys called PugCoin. I'm going to show you guys how to get it set up, mining windows and Hive OS, all that fun stuff. We've gone through this, nothing new, but also I do want to talk to you guys about Weather XM, um, that token stuff going on. And then I also want to talk to you guys about Takeo. It's an airdrop we covered uh, a little bit ago on this channel now. Um, they're getting ready to do their airdrop here soon too. So really interesting things. Check out the links down below and don't forget to su subscribe if you want to keep getting new coins and all my awesome fun content. Also, I recently hit a thousand subscribers. That is really awesome. Thank you to all you guys who have subscribed. I am going to be working on some sort of giveaway or something to give back to you guys. I think it's really awesome. That much closer to being monetized. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so, uh, new uh, GPU mineable coin. It's a Carlson hash fork, nothing new there. One thing I do think is kind of interesting, a trend that's taken up lately more so with these Casper forks, the forks. Um, they've been moving really hard into the meme coin, like trying to be super meme -y and whatnot, like actually trying to be like a meme coin instead of a coin with any sort of utility and whatnot. So, I think that's been really interesting. We did see some kind of coins that tried to be meme coins over on uh, ETH hash or ET hash back when people were forking that like crazy, but I don't know. These feel, I'm not saying they're good. I'm not saying I would hold, I'm not saying I would buy, but I'm definitely gonna say it is a little bit interesting. But yeah, as you guys know, Bugna was, uh, we'll say like kind of like the first meme -y one. Um, it's dead, but we'll see how this one does. So as far as a wallet, you can go ahead and set up a, C a CLI wallet, run your own node, do that whole thing. Or if you're lazy, web wallet, get your 24 or 12 uh, seed phrase, get that, save that, get your wallet. However you want to do it, do it. Once you guys have your wallet address, we're going to come over here to mining pool stats. There's uh, a couple different pools. I hate mining for the people. They're a scam. They have screwed many people out of many projects definitely keep that in the back of your mind but for ease sake we're going to set it up on this pool um just always be cautious you can definitely mind your own node way more secure way more decentralized but you do you so i did just throw a couple rigs on here i originally was going to skip this coin just because it's a fork of a fork but if you can mine it and it technically when you go to sell it it's made more than you would have on a normal day of mining then it's a win so over here, we're going to come to home. We are going to come down to if I could find it. There we go. Pug. Uh, we're going to hit start mining come down here we're going to be using srb miner for this one you can essentially just copy and paste this whole uh font down here copy come over to your miners Ooh, sorry a little bit tired um essentially what you can do if you want to be lazy we've talked about this before just find your carlson hash your carlson one open it up and then I think I already covered over my Carlson hash. We'll do it on this one. Open up your Carlson hash one. It'll already have the Carlson hash. Actually, don't even need that. Just come in. We're just going to come in, copy everything and hit paste. And then for me, I'm in North America. So I would just turn that into an NA. 
but if you're curious which one, you just change the first part of the stratum for wherever you're at. It will already have the port put in for you. And then you'll copy your wallet address over. Make sure you keep the dash dash wallet. So copy over your address, paste it in there, and then you can change your password. Also wallet put dot worker to put in your worker address. Then you'll go file save. And then once you have that all saved, you're all good to go. Set it up mining, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Now for you Hive OS people. Actually, one thing I want to check because this pool does have two separate pools and I may have signed up for the wrong pool. And that I do believe I did. So they have a PPLNS 70% pool and a PPLNS normal pool. Uh, the 70% one means if you hit a block, you get to keep all that block. The other one, it means that it's just like normal. Uh, I would definitely recommend going with the PP and PPLNS, uh, the 71, but yeah, just do that one. It means you'll get 70% of the block, 30% of the block gets split to the rest of the pool. But time for Hive OS. So we'll come over to our, as you guys can see, I have them set up. Come over to your wallet, add wallet, coin ticker, call it pug, create. Ooh, pug, not peg, paste in your wallet address. Name it, mine, name it web or CLI, whatever you want to, just so you know where it's at. Come over to your flight sheets, coin. We're going to do pug, find our wallet, configure pool and miner. For miner, we're going to use SRB also. Set up miner. Hash algorithm is going to be Carlson, wallet, worker, and your go back you're going to come over here copy your stratum it's going to be that part it is a pain in the butt to copy off of it so you know you're going to paste your stratum in right there and then come down here and you're going to want to do disable cpu just because hit apply changes don't forget to name your flight sheet and then create flight sheet and yeah, that's how you guys get it set up and mining. We'll see what happens. Uh, one thing I do think I did not cover is the total supply. I do believe it's like 25 billion for the total supply. Actually, do they have a, no. And of course their website says absolutely nothing. But yeah, that's how to mine Pug. So weather XM at the end of the month, um, their tokens going live finally. So if you've, uh, been running one of those weather XM devices, I've been running one. I also have mine running. It's also been on fry. So I also forgot about it because I've been making tokens from fry. Not a lot, but it's been making money. This is going to get listed in seven days. Uh, what I would strongly recommend you go ahead and do is, Make sure you go ahead and get, I would get the contact, the contract address for the token, save it in your phone, um, just in a notepad or something. So that day of launch, you can go ahead to Uniswap if it's a good price and it's worth it. Go ahead and sell your tokens because it might be a pain in the butt to try and find the token address while everything's going on. So we just recommend you have that saved beforehand unless you're like, have a gate.io or mexi or that other one. I can't use those because I live in America. But yeah, um, if you don't have one of these, I probably wouldn't necessarily recommend buying one to try and hop on it just because one, you're going to deal with it sh taking shipping forever. And uh, these deep in projects, they're so hyped up nowadays. Most of them either you're either going to list really high and then die really fast or not list high at all. Kind of the 
kind of the way of these projects for the time being. So yeah, I may do an update video if you guys want to see some update on what happens after that or my plan for this miner and other deep end miners. Just go ahead, comment something, whether you guys are for deep end, against deep end, if you have any deep end, just comment that down below. Let me know because I haven't really talked too much. I did talk some about deep end like demo and all that, but haven't too much lately. If you want me to get back to that. I definitely can. I definitely utilize deep end projects as a part of my mining farm just to like supplement funds because they use little power. If you can ROI or buy it from already mined crypto and the profit, then run it. It helps cover power. Really cool. Also, uh, Taco, Taco, however you want to pronounce it. Their airdrop is also going to be coming soon. Go to their official website. Uh, to get to the link for it. I did talk about this project a while ago. So I did want to bring it to your attention that the airdrop has finally happened in case you like actually participated and did all the things. Um, I did it a little bit. I'm kind of excited to see what it is. It's a ETH layer two. So could get a high airdrop, could get a low airdrop. Never know. But yeah, go ahead. Uh, like subscribe, do all the fun things, comment down below. If you guys utilize uh, any deep end projects in your crypto mining farm to supplement power or anything like that, or if you're even in deep end anyways, uh, thanks for the thousand subscribers. Excited to hurry up and get monetized, and I will be working on a giveaway for you guys here soon. Um, that's about it for today. Uh, you guys have a nice day. Hopefully we become crypto millionaires this bull run, and peace out.